Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha and for today's video, we're going to be reviewing a brand new rare beauty item. So this is the Positive Light Tinted Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. So this is supposed to be, let me open the packaging and I chose the shade 24N. So <laughs> I was debating which shade to get. I was debating between 22N and 24N. I just thought that since this is more like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation, maybe I could pull it off. I think the 22N might have been a little bit too light. So 24N is a light medium with neutral peach undertone. So the 22, well, let me just call it. Where is the 22? Oh no, it was actually the 22W I was gonna get. The 22W is the shade before this. It was a light medium with warm golden undertone. So I was debating between those two, but I went with this one a neutral peach undertone because I always I feel like it's safe for me to stick with the neutral so what this is is a flexible tinted moisturizer that immediately blurs skin with glowy light to medium coverage all while hydrating and protecting skin from the sun it also has SPF 30 so I thought that was like a pretty much a good bonus you know so retails for $29 for one fluid ounce slash 30 ml and the shelf life it looks like I'm trying to find it from the packaging. It says it has an expiration date, um, October 2023. So like about a year, a little bit, like a year and a half. So I'll do some comparison swatches because I have like two other serum foundations. So I could probably compare it this two. So this is gonna be my first impression. So let's do a little swatch. So it feels very thin. I think I could probably pull it off. It's, yeah, it's definitely a little bit peachy, but I think I could pull it off. Yeah, it looks so nice. There's a consistency to it. It's not like super thin, but definitely more lightweight than a foundation, I would say. So this is, yeah, look at the coverage. Like, yeah, that's a pretty good coverage for it being lightweight. So let me just blend it out on my hand and I can show you guys the difference. So there it is, the difference. It <laughs> made my hand like more peachy. But yeah, it looks very natural. It looks very pretty. The way I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna try to do it just using my fingers because that's how they did it on the videos. Ooh, this is definitely a little peach, so. Like, I don't really like the shade range of this. Like, I feel like it's not enough, but maybe it's, since this is a tinted moisturizer, I maybe I could pull it off. And I'm not gonna be wearing a primer. Usually I always do, I love wearing primers. But just for the sake of this video, yeah, I'm just gonna blend it. Hmm. Yeah, very lightweight. You could add like a nice, and yeah you can pull it off it is a flexible way to use this so even if it's a little bit off you can probably pull it off, pull it off. as long as the the shade like in general shade it's not like too far away from your skin tone so it's almost like yeah it just adds like a nice since this has a peach peach neutral undertone i kind of blended it okay right here it feels very smooth it's thin, but not like super thin, not like watery. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend it with my finger and I'll probably go jump in with the sponge and probably push all the product in. Uh, so it might get a little patchy right here because I have a, I popped this pimple yesterday. So I, ha I just popped this pimple too this morning. So I know it's not good to pop your pimples, but <laughs> I swear these two, like I have, a, I had a few right there, but mostly this one, it kept, it kept going. <laughs> It kept going and coming back, going and coming back, but finally it was like ready. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just get rid of it. It probably needs it to, you know, me get rid of the, the stuff out, you know? And then this one was like really popping. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess it's time. So, yeah, so I know I didn't really blend it in beautifully. You could, I could um, add a little bit more product. I know it's not perfect blend with my fingers. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more just for extra coverage. I can still feel like something's on my face. So it's supposed to have SPF, so I kind of feel like there's SPF in it. Like it's not super thick, but I definitely feel like something on my face. Like it's not super like, it doesn't feel super, like it doesn't feel like natural. Like you know, I'm just gonna spread it a little bit. Just use a beauty blender. Usually the beauty blender is not my favorite, but I just don't wanna, I don't feel like watching a, a sponge that's why oh yeah with the sponge looks nice then it with the sponge so today i decided to do like a just a natural makeup look obviously you guys could tell like i wanted to do this is like very oh i'm gonna have to redo my lips mm, i feel like this will be good for like 
no makeup, makeup looking days, you know, like a very, not too much, just very natural, very easy to wear, casual makeup wear. So yeah, it's, it's looking really nice. Yeah, I think this will be great for summer, like if you just wanna go out. So I am gonna do a wear test. It's kind of getting late a little bit. It's not super late, but I tried to record this earlier, but I just took too long to prepare. This is really nice. I like, it looks good. For being a tinted moisturizer, like it looks good. Doesn't look too, like it doesn't look patchy. Like it, using the sponge, definitely push the product in. So I could add a little bit more or I could just leave it like this. But yeah, hmm, looks pretty good. I like it. Yeah, so I'm not sure which one's my favorite now. My favorite tinted, uh, what you call it? My serum foundation, it's the tart one. The, the blue one, you know, ah, I forgot what, but the Tarte Serum Foundation, that, that was like my favorite one, but this one, I think this one's gonna be a new favorite. It's just that I could feel something on my face, like, like it's not thick at all, it's just, <laughs> I think it's because it's the SPF, I think that's why. Oh yeah, definitely looks like a natural finish, looks very natural. Right here, I have a lot of, like some texture right here. So yeah, it's a little bit like, yeah, it's just looking a little bit like patchy. I think because I'm a little dry there. So let me just build up the um, this a little bit more. <laughs> just, I just want to see how it builds up, especially here. And I don't really need that much right there. Build the coverage, see how it looks. I'm using the monitor mirror. Yeah, so yeah, you see how peachy it was and now like it blended into my skin tone. So I'm definitely not peach undertone, but yeah, it's just blended in really nice. I'm gonna just finish the rest of my makeup. So I'm just gonna keep it natural. I'm gonna do some concealer, I need concealer, and then do blush, highlight, and then I'll bring you right back. All right guys, so I'm back. So I did went ahead and use a few Rare Beauty products like the bronzer, the blushes, the liquid blushes, and then also the powder uh, just on my under eyes. So I didn't put any powder or any concealer here because I didn't want it to look too dry, just in case. And so far, mm, every, everywhere else it looks good. Yeah, everywhere else it looks really good except for right here, just where I have texture. So I guess I'm a little dry or it's a little patchy. You could definitely build it up. You can make it more natural than this just almost like skin like but you could feel it on your face it's not like it's not like really thick but you could just feel something on your face but i'm guessing it's because of spf that's why so real quick because i almost completely forgot i was already gonna do wait it out for my wear test but i'm gonna do some comparison swatches so i have two serum foundations so i have the tart um the tartsy hydroflex serum foundation and then i have the fenty beauty East drop blurring skin tint. So I got the shader here, 25 N. You have to shake it, and the shade seven for the Fenty Beauty one. So I'm gonna shake it up because this one's really liquidy compared to this one. So 25 N. So this one's very liquidy. Yeah, this one's very liquidy. Ooh, 25 N. For the Fenty Beauty East drop in the shade seven, this one's a little bit warmer more orangey than the tart one the tart one was more neutral so this is how the fenty one's looking this one has a thicker consistency a little bit almost similar to the rare beauty the rare beauty shade 24n oh maybe i should add more i think on um, the fenty beauty one it's a little bit thicker yeah this one's very thin but not as like watery as the tart one so the Tarte one actually looks a lot smoother. The Fenty one, hmm. Like the shade range, it looks way different. Yeah, this one's more watery, liquidy. This one has the thickest consistency. And this one, it's like, it's light, but not like watery. Like it has a, uh, it has a consistency to it. Like it's not super thick, but it's not watery. So which one am I liking? Well, I, 
I'm not sure if I like the Rare Beauty one more than the Tarte one. Like, I'm not sure. I need to compare them side by side. But I am enjoying the Rare Beauty one. Like, it's beautiful. And it has SPF too. So that's a bonus, okay, guys. So right here is natural lighting. Like, just sunlight. No ring light. Yeah. So let me just walk into the shadows so you guys could see a little more of the product. How it looks. This is how it's looking. See? Because I have a lot of some texture. So I... I'm thinking that maybe I'm trying to wonder if this is good for texture people with texture pimples or bumps I feel like no but let me know if you guys had a good experience with this if you have like texture I would like to know now it's 11 35 okay so I'll do a wear test I'll do two check-ins so maybe in four hours and then at the eight hour mark so i'm back for the four hour check-in right now it's 340 so it's like four hours i think the forehead actually might look better even now i guess through my oils well i can still see a little bit patchiness because i have some texture i think it might have faded a little bit there and then look at that blush you guys the rare beauty <sighs> liquid blush paint you guys i'm so tired I, I was just outside and i was doing some clips to post on my Instagram, but I think it looks a little bit dry like right here. You can see a little bit of my pores. Wait, let me see. Yeah, you can see a little bit of my pores. So this is a natural lighting. So no studio light. I'm in front of the window, so just natural lighting. I think it did fade it a little bit there. And I think the bronzer is fading a little bit. But the blush is staying strong. And you see the nose area the nose area i only see a little bit like it's coming out a little bit here so i guess maybe this is so far not long lasting so yeah i did put a deep like i did put a thick layer of this stuff on so i imagine if you put a thin layer maybe it wouldn't last as long but i think a thinner layer than the one i have like i think a thinner layer than i have on right now would be better i mean for a natural makeup looking day but yeah so i'll be back in four more hours and see how it's going so yeah so it still looks good overall so i'll be back for the four more hours later so it's 3 58 right now and i forgot to show you guys so i noticed i was looking in the mirror it looks kind of to me it looked a little patchy like it's coming off right here and around my mouth area and a little bit in the nose crease area and I, like i told you guys before in the middle of my nose and it looks like it's fading here so it's, yeah so like i was saying not so super long lasting all right guys so i'm back so uh, it's been over eight hours actually so it's almost gonna be nine hours so it's like 8 16 right now so yeah almost nine hours so it's like eight and a half hours and i haven't seen how my makeup is right now Ooh, it actually doesn't look that bad so i'm i'm sorry you guys i could have done this exactly at eight hours but my mom, she visited me. She told me that she might come over. And I thought by the time, like it got so late, I'm like, oh, she's not gonna come over. And then she did. So it was still, there's still some sunlight by the time she was over. Yeah, I just didn't wanna be rude and just record it. So I just waited until, um, yeah, a little after she left. And it looks good. Everywhere on the face almost, like on the cheek area. I'm sorry that I don't have natural lighting. It's coming off right here. I don't know if you can see, see it's coming off right here it's like looking dry patchy and then a little bit of nose area and right here some of it came off right here not sure because if i touched it but yeah some of it came off and right here just looking like a little bit crease and then um, right here where my smile lines right there right there it's, it's coming off and around my lip area looks a little dry and then my problem area where my pimples or little breakouts are it doesn't look as patchy probably because i got oily a little bit yeah i got a little bit oily so it doesn't look as dry anymore like it doesn't look as good in the beginning now like i could see that it's makeup being now looking after my oil set settled it in and throughout the day doing stuff i didn't do that much I, I went outside a few times and yeah so i think what i'll use this for is just to go out like if i'm just gonna be out running errands for a few hours or if i'm just gonna do something like real quick just use this it has spf 22 so that's pretty good it doesn't last that long so 
for $29. I would say just save your money, don't buy this unless like you don't really go out that often or you don't want that much of a stain power. So I still need to test it out probably a few more times, maybe do a lighter layer of this instead of having three layers. So maybe with the two layers, it would be better. But I feel like I'll probably get the same results, but not as like makeup looking by the end of the day. I think the heart one, the Seed Lotion Serum Foundation, I feel like that one lasts longer than this. The other, the Tarte one is more liquidy, like a lot more liquidy. So it really sinks into your skin. It looks really good. Like I've used it so many times. And um, yeah, so I need to test out those two products side by side to see which one I like best. So maybe I'll do that on my own time. So that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys find this review very helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.